Here I am with it. Hal Wilson. Yes. You're a, like kind of like a basketball coach legend from the States. Yeah, I don't know about legend, but I've coached for a while, yes, in the United States. Yeah. Well, I coached at uh, Lafayette College in the uh, Division I team, uh, Fordham University in, in New York City. We played the toughest schedule in the country at that time. And, uh, and I, that was five years. Coached at Florida Southern in Lakeland, Florida. That we won the Division II National Championship. And then after your college career, you went on to the NBA. In the NBA, uh, been with several teams. Uh, How many years? years? Over 18 years, yes. And now I'm a consultant. But I was with the Milwaukee Bucks, uh, New Jersey Nets, Memphis Grizzlies, and Golden State Warriors. Tell me a little bit, a little bit about your uh, NBA life as a coach. How is it? Uh, well, the, I always felt that the uh, the best coaches were in the NBA. The best players, obviously, in the NBA. The best officiating NBA. And I also feel the best officiating. Uh, well, I mentioned officiating. Yeah. The, the fans are really into it. Who's the best player you ever coached? Best player I've ever coached? Uh, there's been several. It'd be hard to pick one, but uh, name five. Name five? Yeah. I'll put Pal Gasol in there. I yeah. worked with Pal. Uh, <coughs> I, I like uh, Dale Ellis, who uh, was third all-time in NBA three-pointers made. He'd be one of them. Uh, there, there's a lot. It'd be hard to name five. But, uh, more recently, uh, some of the better shooters that I've coached. Uh, Shane Battier is with the Houston Rockets, and Mike Miller is now with the Washington Wizards. And, uh, we had just gone and on. Uh, so, so you were in Memphis Grizz Grizzlies just uh, a couple years ago, right? Just recently, with U yeah. UB Brown was the head coach, and uh, we took over when the team was 0-8, and then we never won more than 23 games, and in our second season there we won 50 games, and UB was coach of the year. So we, we built that pretty good. But now you, um, you have quit coaching and you're doing some consulting. No, I, I haven't quit no? coaching, no, but I, I'm not an assistant coach at this time. I do consulting work with different teams. Yeah. My son Scott is with the LA Clippers. He's advanced scout. Uh, another son, Paul, has done advanced scouting in the NBA. He runs our company, Basketball World, right now, which we're in our 38th year. Have you seen, seen any Swedish talent here? Yes, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Any form, any future NBA players, maybe? Jacobs. <laughs> I'm too old. <laughs> have, you, have you followed the Jonas We don't let anybody give us negatives. No, no <laughs> negatives. Yeah. Have you followed Jonas Durepko, the Swedish Yo, player? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, he's going to have a nice career in the NBA. Yeah, he's doing good. Yeah, he's doing very well. He's a hard-working player. He brings a lot of intangibles to a team. You know, good team player, good, good hustle. He's a, he's a good shooter. He's not a great shooter. He can be better. He can be better. That's what we do. Shoot a better mini game all over the world. So he needs to come to our camp. Can you compare Jonas Rebko to any player that you have coached? Uh, yeah, he reminds me a little bit of uh, Shane Battier because he's a hard-working guy, very coachable, and he's going to get better, like Shane. Well, and that'd be one, you know, but I've had a lot of guys like that. Players that become great in the NBA are those that really work at it and uh, keep getting better. And there's a lot of those. And uh, the talent level is certainly there, but players can get better. And those that get better each summer working on their own and uh, getting, getting some coaching, they become uh, the stars of the league. So if you want to make it to the NBA, you need to work hard. Well, I should have mentioned that work with Kobe. Kobe uh, Bryant. Kobe Bryant is pretty good, right? Yeah, he's pretty good. I worked with him. <laughs> is he a nice guy? He's a very, very good man, and he's a, uh, when I coached him, he was very, very coachable. Wanted to learn. I'm very thankful that he helped him. He still learns, though, right? He's still working and still trying to get better, yes. Who do you think is the best player, uh, LeBron or uh, Kobe? Well, you're asking me at a time when LeBron didn't play well in the playoffs. Uh, right. So I give the nod to Kobe, but uh, I don't know if uh, LeBron doesn't want any excuses. He's, his, his elbow might have been bothering him, but I don't know what happened with him really because uh, I was at the game when uh, they beat Boston by 30 points and it was a runaway and he had 
like 39 points. He had a triple double, all of that. He did great. And after that, he didn't play well at all. And their team didn't seem to have the energy. But Boston's good. So, I mean, they lost a good team. I, I would uh, maybe lean toward Kobe right now. Final question: What do you think about the basket festival the tournament here? Oh, it's terrific! Uh, yeah. You know what I like mostly is the the teams here are having a good time. They're they're competing, but they're happy to be here. There's a lot of smiles on faces. There's some good coaching, and uh, it's a wonderful thing that you have here. And it, I'm sure uh, it's going to keep getting better and bigger. And I'm I'm happy to have been a part of this here. Invited over and uh, put on a coaching clinic here last night. Was he good? Of course, yeah. Well, you know, you have to ask those who came, but we <laughs> thought we, we did okay. Yeah, yeah. We love doing it. We've gone to a lot of our companies, basketball world. We actually traveled the world working with NBA players down to 10 years. Well, Al, that's it. It was an honor to have you here. It was an honor to interview you. Thank you, Jake. Take care. Hope yeah. to see you in the, in the NBA again. All right. <laughs> well, I'll be, you know, I'll be there. I'll be there right now.